We're getting suits for work, and we got a call, or actually a text from a, a couple of neighbors. Uh, there was a fire above the hills. We didn't know how bad it was, and that that's it's pretty big. Um, so we're we're rushing to pick up Mackenzie right now. Uh, she's at a school function for registration for high school. We're gonna grab her really quick and head home, just kind of see how bad it is. The dogs are still at home. That's our main concern. So we just want to make sure we get to the dogs and have them with us just in case something were to happen. Get to the house. I don't like this. Hey, it's California living. It comes with the territory. That's the we thing that I we don't burn like about every California. year. The only thing that does suck though is like everything's up north because those poor folks up there are going through a lot. Um, so I don't know what the services look like down here. So we'll see. You were gonna dink that out. Okay, so more on more on this incident later because we got that to worry about. So that ridge is going. Okay, so quick update. It's been about 30 minutes. The flames have come over that ridge now. Uh, this one over this dark side. We were watching the news on the Tribuco Canyon side and it just raced up that canyon fast, man. It just tore it up, got to the top of the ridge. This area, they showed a bunch of Fosjack. Looks like they were targeting that side, but it's gotten darker now. This is the side we've been watching because it's been the darkest and the heaviest. Uh, and the flames are actually over the ridge now. So, I mean, it's still a ways away. There's no panic on our end, I don't think. I know everyone, freaks out and gets scared and rightfully so you know it's a big fire but nothing yet to be worried about but if flames start coming down that hill you might think about packing a little bit of stuff we're close that's the edge right there that's the forest just hang tight see what happens That's it, that's where we stand. It is eight o'clock. All the air support has stopped. The DC-10 came over, got two big drops. That was fantastic to see. There's huge stretches. It's like, they say it's like a mile, a mile's worth of fire retardant. Hopefully we put up a big line up there. Uh, they've done a great job with the aircraft. Let's go to bed and just kind of see what happens. Hopefully we don't get a call in the middle of the night, you know, with some bad news, but things look good from here. All right, so Babs and I just left the gym. We are headed back, and that's what it looks like coming back home. I got up at like 2.30, let the dogs out. I couldn't go back to sleep, so I just went back out and kind of watched it and monitored it, and it finally came over that ridge, and it's coming down towards the houses. It burns much slower downhill, so still there's no like crazy immediate threat right now. Channel 11's up at the water tower at the top of the hill. They're kind of covering it because we are the closest to the fire line now as far as houses go. All right, so yeah, that's it. Um, sun just came up. 
waiting for air support. There's a couple choppers up there still uh, going at it right now, but waiting for some of the bigger tankers to get up here, hoping they can just lay some FOSS check down, like right, just right in the canyon. It's coming quicker um, since we went to the gym. Like that moved a lot. I'm gonna try to drive up the street and go to the canyon where we usually go hiking, see, uh, see if there's a better view up there. Ooh, it's busy up here. We got company. Okay, update from me because you know I feel like I'm dating. How's your packing? You still packed? I'm still 100% packed. Oh, she's ready to go. Literally last night, I had three bags packed full of. This camera is so heavy, and basically like it all this stuff that means like a lot to me you know i ain't gonna be the one that's getting burnt down <laughs> but we are walking up we've done a few hikes up here actually so we're walking what the, uh -oh. squirrel what was i saying oh so we're walking up that hike that we normally do to this water tower because i'm so out of breath squirrel so yeah we're just hiking up our normal hiking trail all the news cameras are down there kind of got weird looks for hiking up here but this is our neighborhood it's where we always hike so don't judge us did a little reading last night found out that that 747 super tanker that was dropping yesterday comes out of sacramento so he made two drops yesterday so that means he dropped flew to sacramento what is that like hour 50 minutes two hours commercial i think however long it takes to fill up then fly back i think it said 12,000 gallons something like that and then the little guys the t2 t2s take like 1200 so it kind of makes more sense to me i think to fly 10 of those guys quickly out of like marino valley than that guy flying all the way to sacramento i'm not a firefighter that's just my opinion see you're out of breath too i'm, I'm not out of breath I'm just breathing hard because I'm working hard. You, I can't even see it. Oh, other way. Right here, there's a giant flare that keeps going up. We're at the base of the Cleveland National Forest right here. So this is Cleveland National Forest up here. This is our hiking trail. Our hiking trail goes right up this canyon. So you got this little trailer park thing right here. They kind of give us trouble every time we hike up here. So I don't know if they officially own anything back here or if they're just like squatting, but Away. I wish they'd be nice to us when we hike. So it was hoping air tankers would show up so we could get some some closer shots, some like some awesome B-roll, but uh, just not happen. We don't get service up here, so I can't look at any of the like forestry things to see if they've even issued them. Okay, so we see the super tanker. It is come, and now we are about to get it and track it so that way it can dump. All right, there it is. Nope. So we were reading on that, that 747. So not only does it go to Sacramento, fill up, fly back, it costs 26500 an hour with a three hour minimum. Okay, well, another update. That was, that was anticlimactic. Okay, what's he doing? Is he flying back over or did he drop over there? I'm not sure.
So with everything going on, like, I'm not leaving. We have, I mean, it's a stucco house, you know, we have concrete tile roof. So I'm not too worried about it. It's just the scary part of like the embers getting into the attic or something like just catching you off guard. So we are packing up a few things just in case. Um, I'm taping up vents right now just to make sure nothing gets into the attic and lights anything. I do kind of feel obligated to stay too because of his house, because he's gone. They're both gone in the hospital right now. So I kind of want to watch, watch his yard and house for him. So yeah, I don't know. This is kind of all new to me. So I'm just kind of going with the flow right now. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna take you guys over here, show you what it looks like behind the house. Different, different angle. All right, so good news. Babs is home, first off. So I'm not here by myself anymore. Kind of got some stuff together. We haven't been mandatory evacuation yet, but we felt we should just grab the meaningful stuff. We're gonna put it in the car just in case. There's people that talk about embers going into attics, lighting the houses on fire, just patio cover going up and one thing leads to another, whatever. I feel like you can't be too cautious in this kind of a scenario. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get packed because unfortunately it still looks like this. Oh. 